More. Boom! Get down. Oh. Please tell me I have that ability. Dude. Nice. Could knock you over too. Just for fun. <laughs> Sit down. Every one of you has to stand up. Oh. You're obsolete. Your time is over. Oh, that's Sabeel. All right. You kill your own shadow, Sabeel. Got him. Disgusting. I just wrecked these people. Nope, oh, it's about to rain some meteors. Alright, we're gonna pull a crunchy. And we're gonna just set shadow and fuse in. Try to get an actual attack off. Oh, can't do that. Ah, never mind. Oh, here we go. We'll just superpower Crunchy. I'm gonna die. You gonna die. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh, that's a problem. That's not good. You are nothing. Crap. Uh, I just wasted all my abilities. <laughs> and Crunchy didn't get a go again. That's lame. He didn't get his full turn. You. Okay. Ow. This guy's straight rude. Oh my god. Yep, here comes fire raining from the sky. Oh my god, there's red guys everywhere. Look at this. We gotta do this, we gotta do this. I'm gonna do this so he gets armor. He's actually gonna die on his turn, isn't he? I just wasted all that. And Los's abilities are on cooldown now. That's a bummer. You get to go again? That's not fair. He's stealing all the swords like a jerk. Don't you dare! Alright, Sabeel, you... Mm, why can't you use your source ability? Why are you... Why can't you use your source ability? Because I don't have enough action points, that's why. Do enough damage. Thank you. Kill some life. Going to hell, man. I 
want to waste those abilities. Where's the one that heals? Will this set blind? I'm gonna chance it. Worth it. Because then I can, um. The Titan lies in pieces before you. Get those source points there. Is dead by your hand. Lava roils as earthquakes rumble around you. Shockwaves of sound pierce the air. The growl of shifting ground. Suddenly, a voice echoes in your mind. It's Malady. Where the hell are you? Yeah! Ah, find my beacon. We need to get out of here now. Her voice crackles and dissipates in your mind. Melody! I'm just going to pick everything up. Why can't I pick everything up? Because it still thinks I'm in combat. I broke the game. You stupid meteors, man. Shouldn't be in combat anymore. What's that? Oh, I look like a thing. I'm so confused. Staying in combat this whole time. Why isn't that sucking up the source pool? There it goes. There's gonna be more fights around, isn't there? We just go one at a time. Oh, there it goes. Is that all that mattered? That was very weird. That chloro circuit ability was cool. Melody, I love you. She's so freaking cool. No, St. Helens up in here. Colors all goofy. <coughs> she gonna do the snot thing again? <sighs> I guess when I said never again, I really meant once or twice more. <sighs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All of Echoes once more. Our home away from home. What you have to do seems to affect her a great deal. I want to know what she does. It affects me a great deal. Hauling you thither and yon only to see you still haven't managed to ascend. I want a god in my debt. Is that so much to us? Ha! Oh, is that going to get her out of her debt? At least you managed to murder one of the seven. Quite a spectacle. Yeah, fuck you, Relic. I've never seen anything so... <clears throat> Let's talk about this later. I need to rest. We've still one big jump to go, but it'll have to wait. She casts her gaze around, taking in the streaming bluish ether. She breathes a deep, ragged breath. At least it's quite, quite 
beautiful here, isn't it? I'm going to take a rest, sort myself out. I suggest you do the same. Speak to the ship if you need me. She'll know where to find me. This may be your last bit of respite before the storm blows in again, Godwoken. Enjoy it. You deserve that much. Oh boy. The arena. Oh, we forgot to talk to Sir Laura too. Dang it, I keep forgetting things. Oh, hey. I think he's gone forever now. He, he knows After this all anymore. that's just happened, life, every flawed morsel of it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but humanity, humanity beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest failed. The void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it, too. I'd like to know him. Wait a minute! Is this, is this doing the hanky-panky sexy time? Wait a minute, is this legit? Oh my god! What?! Really? We're going there? Okay. If these were phrased differently, I might consider it. Uh... But they're my companions in arms! I don't want to mix that shit what happens if I do all right it's between Sibyl and Losa if I were to choose one let's see yeah see like the phrasing here is creepy I'd rather not get up and close personal with anyone you okay chief One knows that she was in bad shape. She says nothing for a moment, but chews her lip, deep in thought. To be honest, so did I. When we first arrived on the island, I could barely keep a lid on it. But when we fought the gods, it suddenly grew quiet. I think it's waiting, biding its time. For what, I'm not totally sure, but it's eager. I wish I didn't have to say that. Funny, isn't it? From here, none of it seems real. Dallas, the gods. I mean, <laughs> we killed a god. What do you think it means? Want to know the truth? I don't think it means anything at all. I think it means if you live a life, things will happen. Crazy things, painful things, fantastic things. You can't pick which ones you'll get. All you can do is live them. She looks out into the swirling blue and green of the hall and sighs. <sighs> Let's rest up. Whatever comes next, I want to be ready for it. Well, hello again. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I would enjoy sailing these waters with you. I fear our time is short. I believe Melody recommended speaking to the ship's head when you were ready to leave. But I suppose it all depends on how much faith you put in a half-demon. Are you ready to continue the journey? One word and the Lady Vengeance will take us back to our world. So we'll just straight to the point. Okay, well, Sir Laura isn't here. Is that little girl still here? The sleeping one. Must know. I think I want to get rid of Pet Pal. Sir Laura isn't following me anymore. Whoa, look how cool that is. Um, 
was it talents pet pal fusioner yeah oops god damn it he is there of course he showed up nope i want leech All right, pet pal. All right, I may switch. Um, Sabeel to not have pet pal anymore. Quirkus, it's okay. We're okay. He runs his paws over the cat's skeleton with long, methodical strokes. Sometimes his fingers curl, as if he's forgotten that Quirkus's fur is long gone. We got out. We made it. We are safe. They can't get us here. Have I played Red Dead? Or Red Dead? No, I have it. I don't even own it. The knights will never hurt us again. Did you like it? I promise. Yeah, what did the knights do to you before? After all the shield has done, do you think it's time? Yes. Yes, I think so too. The story belongs to us both, and by now the shield deserves to know the truth. The squirrel looks up and meets your eyes for the first time. Small, shining beads take you in. We have traveled some time together, shield. There were times when I, when I very nearly lost heart. My research, so much of it has led to naught. At times. I fear I am no closer to stopping the acorn than when I started. Yeah, I've, I've heard really great things about it. You have been relentless. When I felt I might falter, you sallied forward. You, you and Quirkus have given me strength when my weighed. You deserve... My buddy might pick up a PS4 actually here for Black Friday. Um, because he's really wanting to play that game. So if he gets it, maybe I'll borrow from him at some point. So much about the Knights of Dread. The reason I'm the one who needs to stop them. I was one of their order once. I was an acolyte of the Great Acorn. I want that as a shirt. Acolyte of the Great Acorn. I saw dwarves tear down my forest, turning my home into weapons of war. I saw humans launching great orbs of fire into the homes of my friends. I saw lizards shackling the citizens of the land with harnesses and whips. The great acorn would stop you all for good. Talking about genocide. And what do you call the destruction of an entire forest and all Touché. its inhabitants? They call it progress. We call it genocide. The same as you. You reap what you sow. Isn't that right? At least, that's what I thought then. I believed in the cause of the great acorn. I believed the Knights of Dre were righteous in their quest. But they proved themselves zealots. Heartless. He runs his paws along Quirkus's bony head and scratches the space behind his ear. Quirkus rattles a dry, contented purr. Quirkus was once a beautiful, burnished orange, long of hair, green of eye. So soft of tread he could stalk through a thicket of dry thorns without disturbing a single one. That was before. Before the Knights of Dre decided, well, they decreed, they, they executed him. Why they kill? I wonder why they kill. Shall reap the great acorn's blessings, they said. Oh, that's a bummer. He was actually a part of their community. That's messed up. So, they killed.